Hi there, I'm John Heaven, and I've been here at Drupal Camping talking to people about their experiences, asking them to introduce themselves, and trying to get an essence of what's been going on here at Drupal Camping. And I could think of no better setting than in the lake here, where it's nice and cool, and people can talk to me in a relaxed atmosphere. So here we go. Enjoy the video, and enjoy the rest of Drupal Camping. Oh. Oh, I think I can see Daniel Vina there. <laughs> Daniel, hello! Hi! Nice to meet you nice here. Nice to see you. Oh, fantastic. Cool. So, um, as I've got you here, and it just so happens that we've got some dodgy guy on the shore who's recording us with a telescopic camera. Um, I wanted to ask you perhaps a few questions, and I can't remember what I was supposed to ask you, but I'm sure you know. It's probably about views. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, well, no. Uh, so maybe just quickly introduce yourself. Yeah, uh, I'm Daniel. Um, yeah, I'm one of the guys who try to brought youth in the car. Maybe a little bit closer to me. A little bit. Closer. And oh, we're, we're drifting. Yeah, I'm pretty uh, happy here to be here in Wolfsburg yeah. on the lake. Yeah, on the camping. Well, we've certainly been very lucky with the weather. Now, are, oh, you, yes. are you planning on giving a session? Yeah, um, I I was planned to give a session um, about PHP some and how to improve your um, your quality and your, um, I know, your, your way how you do, how you work basically. Yeah, okay. General. Yeah, and uh, do you know when you'll be giving that? Or will uh, be? Probably later today because there are so many, there's so much sun today that you can't see on the protector. So yeah. it's maybe yeah. nine, something. Like okay, that. good stuff. So uh, as the sun goes down, we'll be having more sessions. So well, where did you travel from to get here? So I, I was traveling from uh, from the south, from my place where I'm living. So it's near Stuttgart, so yeah. it's like 500 kilometers. Okay, right. So, so it's a bit of a long journey to get here. Yeah, but it's yeah, certainly it worth fun. it. Yeah. It's, it's just on the train, so it's it's relaxing. Yeah. And what's the best thing about Drupal Camping? Oh, oh we're drifting again. The best <laughs> thing about Drupal Camping is probably the lake here, because, well, you can relax and you can do other things than Drupal. Yeah. But with your... Uh, Drupal friends. Exactly. So long as you talk about Drupal and answer questions about Drupal, well then that's fine, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, there's been lots of socialising going on. And uh, right. yeah. yeah. Well, uh, thanks very much for your time. I'll uh, let you carry on swimming around this lovely lake in the sun. And I'll see you later for your session. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, quite right, recording. So, hello Patrick. If you swim a little bit closer towards me, so we've got you nicely on the picture. Sure. So, you're Patrick Trotliff, and uh, I know you as the creator of simplytest.me, which everyone in the Drupal community knows and loves for testing uh, versions of Drupal and patches and uh, everything uh, besides. Thanks. Maybe you can tell us about uh, your latest development, which is uh, not a software development, but it's still hosted at GitHub. Yeah, it's an open source card game. It's called Breaking Head. Yep. And it's just based on a card game that's called Saboteur. And we we played it in Portland, at Trubacom Portland. And while we were playing it, we we figured some some um, things that are that are very similar to the process in the issue queue on Drupal.org. Yeah. And we thought we have to make this happen and we, we have to create a, a card game that's like Saboteur but with uh, a Drupal theme. Yeah. And now for Drupal Camping I have made the first edition of it and it's like an alpha test yeah. to see whether it's working. Yeah, and it's pretty pretty good. Yeah, so if you come a little bit closer to me, we're drifting. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but considering it was an alpha test, you did very well, didn't you? I think, as far as I can see, it was more on the level of a better test or the particular improvements that you want to make. Well, there are definitely the, the, the fonts are too small, so you, you couldn't read most of the cards. But yeah. that, that wasn't a problem for, for playing the game. Yeah. You don't really need to, to read them. Yeah. There are still some pictures missing. 
and um, some some images are too close. Yeah. But it's just details, so yeah. The, the second edition should be much better. Yeah. And maybe in in a bigger, so maybe we will print more for the next edition. Yeah, good stuff. And uh, who won with the most times? Oh, I think the saboteurs. So yeah. so the bad guys who won yeah. the most. So. Oh. That's uh, quite disheartening. Yeah, it is. So this must be the, the only project that you've written that you can't test on simply test.me. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, well, I'll let you move on then and uh, uh, enjoy the rest of Drupal camping. Thank you. Thanks very much for the interview. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi! Oh, hi! <laughs> well, fancy meeting you here. Hey, nice to see you too. So, uh, you're uh, yeah. Florian, yeah. and uh, I wanted just to ask you to introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Florian. I'm active at doing Drupal since I think my first inter installation was at the end of 2004, and uh, yes, since then I'm still working with this nice system. <laughs> yeah. And I'm joining the community. Yeah, great. And um, so when you started, Drupal must have been what version? Four, five? Uh, this was um, the first install was of version four point five. Yeah, four point five, right? So that's four point five. Quite yeah. a long time ago. Yes, <laughs> it is. So four to five, five to six, six to seven, and now seven to eight. Yes. Uh, is this all the transformations? Is this, is this transition a bigger one than previous ones? Uh, from. Uh, from seven to eight, yes, of course it is. Yeah. Uh, if you come a little bit closer to me. Okay. Like uh, the other stuff, there were only small changes like um, the introduction of the forms API yeah. in uh, 4.7, I think so. Yeah. And a lot of improvements. Bigger core, bigger core, bigger core. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting bigger. Well, there's one of the people to blame for that over there, Daniel Vina. The guy from the views model? <laughs> yes, yes, I know him. <laughs> hey, Daniel. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, he, he's not listening. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what was it that motivated you to come to Drupal camping? Oh, the nice people. Um, I have the intention to be a few days off, uh, really offline, perhaps, and um, nice food, nice people, uh, this lake here. Yeah. And. Um, of course, meeting people like a family meeting. Yeah. <laughs> one one time a year at least, and um, yeah, this is I think all about nice the nice familiar atmosphere. Yeah, but well, it's certainly very relaxing, and we've been very lucky with the weather. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. We've been very lucky that everybody is willing to help out with the, uh, especially Stefan with the cooking and the oh yes, the yes. Uh, washing up and all the rest of it. I think everybody. Yeah. I think really we, pulls their weight. we were shopping yesterday for about four hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, so there's also a lot of work to be done to yes. uh, get one of these, but everyone pulls together and it's great. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, it was a pleasure. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, uh, I'm talking to uh, Markus, and you're from uh, uh, Freistilbox hosting company specialised on Drupal. Right. And you're also one of our gold sponsors for Drupal uh -huh. Camping. So welcome. <laughs> and, uh, Thanks. If you just come a little bit closer to me, because you're drifting away a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you maybe just introduce yourself and uh, tell me why you came to Drupal Camping. So, um, yeah, I'm Marcus. I was a Drupal developer for quite a long time as a hobbyist. And yeah. for a couple of years as semi-professional and then uh, drifted into the hosting and sysadmin and... Just as you Operations. drifted into this interview. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, I jumped into yeah. it. <laughs> um, and the Drupal camping, I was here last year and enjoyed it a lot. So yeah. it was a no-brainer to come here again. Is there one particular aspect of Drupal camping that you like more than anything else? Oh, the relaxed uh, atmosphere around meeting the guys you meet at Drupal camps or yeah. when you're doing your daily business. Yeah. Or, yeah, your work, and it's much more easy going. Um, drifting a little bit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's no current here. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Having fun. And what day did you people. get here? And and Wednesday. You got here straight on the first day. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, is there anything, any particular sessions you're planning to 
Uh, or any topics you'd like to hear about that somebody should do a session on, or are you going to hold a session yourself? Actually, no. Um, I wanted to do a session myself about caching and HTTP. Yeah. And I don't know if I can do it today, but yeah. I, I'll try to. I have to prepare it right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is there any particular uh, implications for hosting companies around the move to Drupal 8? I guess so, because uh, some stuff in the internal saving and configuration management changed the file structure and uh, and some new stuff showed up that you can improve on in hosting and do more performant uh, stuff like uh, edge site includes and caching and varnish and different yeah. stuff that you can do much better so yeah. I'm not that deep into it right now yeah. but definitely okay so does it mean that there's a lot of work coming to hosters as well as to normal developers Yes, of course. Through your place, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I'm sure it's something you look forward to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> well, I think we're, we're glad that we can uh, uh, hand over all of that work to you and not have to worry about it ourselves. <laughs> That's what we want to do. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, great. Well, thank you very much for your time. You. I'll let Good you luck continue luck. Uh, drifting and, and swimming in the water here, and I'll uh, see you around. Yeah, thanks. thanks very much. Thank you. John? Yeah. Okay. Right, well, hello, Martin. Hi. Lovely to meet you here. Thank During you. our early morning swim. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Lovely. So uh, perhaps you can introduce yourself, tell me who you are, uh, yeah. and come a little bit closer. Uh -huh. yeah, Don't my, be shy. I'm Martin, I live in uh, Munich, south of Germany. I've been an IT freelancer for around 28 years now. Yeah. And the last few years I've been working with Drupal, and I've been focused on Drupal. Yeah. So what did you do right at the start of your career? Because the uh, web wasn't around then, probably. No, there was another uh, more than 10 years when I started uh, with IT until the first <laughs> signs of the of uh, publicly available internet came up. Yeah. So I, I actually used the internet already before the World Wide Web okay. was available. Now you had a completely different IT environment at the time, so you worked with mainframes and in large companies with banks and uh, insurance companies mainly yeah. where you process a few million uh, data uh, records overnight yeah. and not much uh, online uh, interactive yeah. stuff. But a little bit closer? Again? Ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and so did you study IT or? Did you, I know, you were... Actually, at that time, IT was not really a popular uh, thing to study. There were not many uh, universities at that time where you could study yeah. uh, information technology. Yeah. So I actually taught myself, more or less. Um, <laughs> yeah. So at that time, it was uh, much easier to get in without a formal uh, university okay. degree because nobody was there who had one. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you get involved in Drupal? Were you a PHP uh, um, expert before that? Or? Actually, that was only when I uh, when I wanted uh, to do a website for myself. Yeah. And I became uh, <laughs> I became interested in it, and then I joined the Munich user group. Yeah. And I saw there are nice people there, so I went to them regularly and so I got involved with it and only after some time I thought about using it also professionally and make money with it. Okay. But actually it's a much better atmosphere among Drupalers than in mainframe environment. <laughs> okay. So you have a lot a lot more fun. Yeah. And uh, it's of course more interesting. Um, yeah. It's not so uh, static, you always have to learn something else in the mainframe environment it's more or less stuck uh, you don't really have to learn a lot of things when you know it you know it <laughs> yeah okay and uh -huh. uh, just one quick question what's the one thing that you like most about drupal camping about drupal camping um the heat <laughs> yeah <laughs> well the, we so can't claim the responsibility so for that the socializing because uh it's too, now it's too hot to really work and to concentrate yeah. on something so yeah. about Drupal camping, the socializing is really great. Um, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we're certainly socializing now, although we're also working as well. So, uh, well, I'll let you get away. Actually, 
Actually, I did. I, I did it yesterday, but uh, I did not come very far because it was so hot and uh, yeah, you sweat all the time. And if you sit outside, the sun is uh, too strong on the TV, on the computer screens. Yeah. But to see something, if you go inside. Uh, you have around 40 or 45 degrees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's why we come outside and enjoy the uh, yeah. nice surroundings. So, well, thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Enjoy talking You're to welcome. you. And enjoy the rest yeah. of Drupal Camper. Thanks. Yeah, you too. <laughs> right, well, welcome to Drupal Camping. Thank you. Micah, I'll just ask you to introduce yourself. Tell me what you do and where you're from. Yeah, okay, I'm Micah Young. I'm from Berlin. And I work at um, Rheinblau. Mm -hmm. Cheers to this one. <laughs> Hope that it doesn't sing. There we go. Let's turn it um, to the camera so we can see the nice Drupal sticker. <laughs> we just happened to find that in the lake. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, okay. I work as a project manager and marketing expert. Yeah. Uh, I've been doing, doing jobs with Drupal for five years, five years or so. Yeah, okay. So do you market Rheinblau as well as Drupal? Uh, what do you mean? So do you do marketing for your company? Yeah. Um, and for Drupal or mostly right. for the company? Or? No, I'm a um, member of the board of um, the German Drupal Association as well. Yeah. And um, that's where I do marketing for Drupal. Okay. How do you strike the balance between <coughs> marketing for customers who just want the website and then bringing in all the enthusiasm out of the Drupal community? Because uh, how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you deal with that? Um, that's no problem. Yeah. Because um, the people who come to us are already very ready to get convinced yeah. of open source. Okay, so is, is, yeah. is the use of Drupal um, your, your, <laughs> <laughs> your main argument for, or the, or the main reason that people come to you? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So the two things, it sounds like they pull in, this, in the same direction. That, that's yeah. right. Okay. And um, we do convincing of people in different places, yeah. which is not where, where we work as a company, but as the Triple Association of Germany. Yeah. And now uh, we do this project, um, CMS Garden, yeah. which is um, we can work, got together some um, open source content management systems, and we do um, public information together and trade fairs and, and the like. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, do you? Uh, so what's your main argument to people when you say to them they should use Drupal? Um, the flexibility. Yeah. Uh, they can get what they want, which is basically what everybody thinks they need. Yeah. They don't want things out of the box. Yeah. And that's where Drupal comes in. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Drupal camping, just quickly. What's, <laughs> uh, what's uh, your impression? What do you like about Drupal camping? Um. Basically, the time you can spend with the people without hurrying between sessions. Yeah. Um, you can have talks and then have talks to other people until late in the night, and we're all staying at the same place. Yeah. So it's more of a social event, or is it more yeah. of a? Okay. No, it's it's like the, um, the social part of a camp. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, we're certainly socialising now, and uh, enjoying ourselves here <laughs> in the lake. So thank you very much for your time. Enjoy talking to you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. So now you take a break. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, hello and good morning, Oscar. Hey. We're here at Drupal Camping and uh, I just wanted to catch you in your natural surroundings and ask you to do an interview for me. Yeah, sure, why not? So perhaps if you could just quickly introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Oscar. I'm a, a student of computer science and earning my money with developing Drupal. Yeah. I do lots of stuff in Drupal, theming, developing. Yeah. Yeah. You have to come towards me a little bit because I think we're drifting out of the picture. Okay. So, uh, and what company do you work for? I work for Bright Solutions. Okay, great. Yes. What city do they uh, work in? Uh, okay. We are based in Darmstadt. Darmstadt, okay, great. Yes. And um, so what uh, have you learned or what have you been doing here at Drupal Camping? Well, I have learned, I, I met a lot of nice people that we can talk and chat about Drupal and stuff. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed the session about stuff in Drupal 8 because so far I haven't uh, worked out too much for Drupal 8. Yeah. That was very interesting. And 
Casey actually helped me to re-roll a patch for a Drupal 8 core. Okay. What is what is re-rolling? I hear that term quite a lot. But, yeah. Uh, um, you know, when there's something that needs to be fixed or adapted, you create a patch. You're coming towards me a little bit. Yes. Um, you create a patch and uh, yeah. that can be applied so the core can be adapted to the or the problem can be fixed. Yeah. But if you have a patch that is maybe four days old yeah. and somebody else did work on that part that you want to patch, yeah. the patch might not work anymore. Okay. So then you re-roll the patch so you don't write a new patch, yeah. but you take that patch and adapt it to the new situation of the core part that you want to patch. Okay, great. Well, now I understand what re-rolling a patch is. Yeah, awesome. And, uh, yeah, well, I'll let you get on and continue swimming around this lovely lake. And uh, maybe uh, the next person. All right, thank you. Talking of rolling, we'll keep the film rolling. <laughs> right, okay, so Chris, if you come over towards me a little yeah. bit, uh, so that we're nicely on the picture. How are you doing this morning? Well, it's very swimmy. Yeah, here very swimmy. Uh, you can certainly say that again. Nice hot and lovely weather. Everything. Yeah, definitely. And where are you from? Oh, I'm uh, from Bright Solutions too. We're from Darmstadt as well. Ah, and oh, oh, oh. I don't know how long I can How long did you have to travel to, uh, how, how long did you have to swim to get here from Darmstadt? Oh, we swam uh, four hours. Four hours? Four hours, swimming, yeah. I presume you did front crawl then, because <laughs> you must have done front crawl, because that's very quick swimming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're the best swimmers. Yeah. Um, so, um, on, a, on a more serious note, yeah. um, what is it that you're uh, aiming to achieve by being at Drupal Camping? Oh, it's a lot of new stuff on Drupal 8. I like uh, Kathy with a lot of uh, explanations. Yeah, she's been but explaining no. a lot to people yeah, about it. It's great. You didn't work on so much. Oh, ah, I drank it. Oh, uh, <laughs> I think it's I think it's safe to drink. Yeah. Well, they're looking uh, at how cloudy some of the water is. Yeah. I wouldn't want to drink it on a regular basis. And we, so we work a little bit, and we drank some good stuff in our tents. And well, and I'm looking forward for the other sessions today. Maybe we can hear something about yeah. Git from Swan today. I yeah, because we've got a few more sessions that are on the list. Yeah. And, uh, we're uh, all looking forward to that. So you're looking forward to the Git session? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good stuff. Ooh, I love so, uh, well, I'll let you uh, swim back. You've got a lot, a long journey to swim ahead of you, so you'll yeah, probably want to rest. Back, yeah, yeah so no. that's a very long swim. So I'll let you practice this front call, and thank you very much for the interview. Yeah, see you. Thanks. Later. I'll put my dick. Right. Jan. <laughs> Get my chocolate side. <laughs> okay, hey, right, so, right, we need to move over. We're being dragged away. Uh, okay, good. So, um, you're Jan. I am. And uh, I'll let you introduce yourself before I get out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Jan. I'm a Yanni boy on D.O. I am. Um, German by birth, but I've been uh, in the UK for the last six years. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a freelancer. Which I, part of the UK have you been living in? I live in Manchester. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a conference going on there at some point, I think, isn't there? Or there was a conference? We had uh, Drupal Camp Northwest there at the beginning of last year, uh, end of last year. Yeah. Which was great. Were you involved in any way in that? Uh, volunteering. Yeah. We had some uh, pretty awesome guys organise that for us, and they did a really good job, and yeah. we just showed up on the day and helped yeah. out. Oh, good stuff. And uh, how's Drupal camping going for you? It's great. Exceeded all expectations. Yeah. It's because um, the website did say that just just kind of show up and we'll sort everything out, and yeah. that's actually what happened. Yeah. Oh, great. I came here, <laughs> no tent, just sleeping bag under my yeah. arm, and people gave me a tent, people gave me food, people gave me beer. Yeah. Oh, what more could a man want? Absolutely. What more could he want? Yeah. And a uh, nice place to uh, relax here and uh, get a little bit of exercise. Definitely. So um, remind me again why we had to swim. Length and like before we did these videos. Uh, yes, we did. We've been very uh, active. <laughs> we and, have uh, got up at the crack of dawn Absolutely. and swam three or four lengths. These guys here swam over from Darmstadt. Oh, that's true. He was telling me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but um, is there any particular session that you're looking forward to? Well, today? I really what enjoyed uh, um, hearing about Tobias speak about the uh, uh, plugin API yesterday. That was really informative, and then. I think someone's giving a, a seminar, maybe Davina, Daniel, giving a seminar on um, tricks with PHP Storm, oh, which right. would be really, really cool. Yeah, great. 
Uh, did you win one of the PHP Storm licenses? Not yet. I'm still practicing. Oh, I thought, uh, okay. I thought, we, <laughs> I thought we'd uh, give you one, but uh, well, I'm sure you'll win one by the end of the uh, <laughs> weekend, and especially for your extra effort in coming out here and talking to me. Yeah. Well, um, I think I'll uh, let you get back and right. then see who else is uh, I think we've willing to more do this. Who's coming from the camp? Fantastic. Ja, ja. Ja. Right. Hi there, Ralph. Nice to meet you here again. Okay. At Drupal Camping. Maybe tell me who you are to start off with. Uh, I'm, I'm Ralph Handel. I'm CEO at Contras. And uh, we are a Drupal shop based and located in Germany, Hamburg. Yeah, and experts in professional, serious communication. Yeah, definitely, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Transparency and so on. Yeah, yeah, so, really important. Yeah. Yes. And uh, well, I just managed to catch you here uh, having a swim and because communication is a very important thing. Well, wherever you are, communication is really important and getting the best content <laughs> wherever you are <laughs> is uh, what's important for us. And um, so we're here at Drupal Camping. Yeah. What uh, particular session are you looking forward to? Ah, oh, that's a good, good uh, tricks session from Sven Weidauer. He uh, promised us to tell us everything about Git, uh, which we don't know. Yeah. So I'm very excited to hear it. That's probably a lot. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> so um, oh, we need to swim over here a little bit because we're moving out of the camera shot. No, oh, there's so, a uh, camera. You didn't tell me. So yeah, there's that funny guy on the shore there who's filming us. So uh, you've got to be careful there. Um, so, uh, what is it about Drupal camping that you like the most? Uh, I hate camping, but I get paid for it, <laughs> uh, so I have no choice. And you quite like Must Drupal. Be, uh, sorry? You quite like Drupal, though. Uh, didn't I get it? You, you quite like Drupal. Uh, no, I like Drupal very much. Drupal yeah. is the best CMS in the world, yeah. and it has almost <laughs> no bugs, and it's quiet. Uh, it's quite easy to use. And yeah. So, uh, <laughs> coming camping and uh, uh, in this awful weather. Oh, the and, weather's uh, great. Yeah. We, the last two years, we have had a, a big big rain uh, uh big rain phases but uh the weather here is, 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 is really great yeah the only problem are the mosquitoes in the evening yeah but uh, to be as they develop an app a module to kill it yeah a, a drupal 8 plugin yeah so that was one of the sessions yesterday uh um what do you think we'll do about this oh god sorry i'm nearly drowning here <laughs> Bloody hell. so what will we do about the sessions today are we going to have them in the evening again do you think uh, we make a table tennis uh, competition and try if you can make a, a ping pong out of it. Ping pong. Not table tennis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then uh, before I drown, I think maybe we'll call it a day. So, <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. John. Shake my hand. Hey. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Right, hi there, Flo. <laughs> Welcome to Drupal Camping. And uh, it's very nice to talk to you here on this slightly cloudy morning. We're in the lake at uh, Lake Alizé in Vosburg. And I just wanted to catch up with you and ask you to introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Florian. I'm from uh, Überbit. And we uh, are in Mannheim and we do big Drupal projects. Yeah, very good. Do you do just Drupal or other things? No, not just Drupal. We are around um, 30 people at the moment yeah. and we also do um, Magento, Drupal Try and SharePoint. Yeah. But I work in the Drupal team. Yeah, very good. And um, you uh, also work a little bit on core, on, on core sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. I um, mainly in the last uh, couple of months I uh, worked on uh, Drupal 8 multilingual. But not uh, every day, only uh, sometimes on weekends or maybe.
maybe at the evening I do a patch and then um, it's called sprints. Yeah, okay. And uh, you, uh, how long did you have to travel to get here today? Uh, it's five hours, uh, four hours by train. Yeah, Although not today, that was yesterday that you arrived, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. You arrived just in time for the session on PHP Storm with Daniel Vina. Yeah. How did that go? Uh, PHP Storm is great. Yeah. And you did too because I uh, use it every day. But it's always nice to see how other people use it and um, use the shortcuts and navigate in PHP Storm. Yeah. So what is an IDE for? How does that make things easy for developers like yourself? Um, for me mainly it's, it's navigation around how you navigate through the code and look up examples of um, other functions and you always have the right arguments if you um, use a function or in the OOP code it's, it's easy to look up interfaces and uh, parent classes and this stuff. Yeah. So does Drupal 8 make it even more necessary to have an idea? I think so. I, I think you can't develop um, efficiently in, in Drupal 8 core or even modules uh, without an IDE with all yeah. the additional information and overview um, which the IDE provides for you. Okay. And uh, just one last question. Are you hoping to uh, give a session or is there a particular topic you think you'd um, like to hear about this um, evening? Maybe we can talk about uh, config and config contexts. Yeah. I try to um, implement some stuff with domain and locale so that you, you can um, use um, configuration per, per domain. So you have yeah. a, a project with multiple domains yeah. and you want to um, configure um, some parts of your site different for each domain. Okay, so that, would that be something that's only possible in Drupal 8? No, it's, it's, it was possible in Drupal 7, yeah. but now in Drupal 8 we have um, CMI, yeah. the configuration management. And we have um, to find a new and elegant way to do it. Okay, very good. And that's the session that you would like to give yourself. So um, you would like to present yeah, that. Yeah, we can talk about CMI and yeah. what's what's great about it. But I don't have a clue how to implement it yet. Okay. So, <laughs> so maybe we can discuss it. Okay. So I'm sure we can discuss it, and people in the audience will chip in with their ideas. Yeah, that would that'll be, be great. really interesting. Great. Well, thank you very much. I'll let you get over and. Maybe have a quick chat with the geese over there. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much for the interview. See you. Thanks. So who should uh, I come across? But Jan, who is the guy that usually operates the camera? But uh, well, you. I try to. Yeah. Well, you've done a very good job so far. Let's, let's be honest. I try to. You've done a very good job. I'm sure uh, everybody who's watching this in the thousands and millions will be really pleased that you're sure. a cameraman. Your, oh, we've got to move in a little bit. So, uh, your uh, brother is behind the camera at the moment. So, uh, tell me who you are, tell me who your brother is, uh, tell me what you're doing at Drupal Camping. I'm Jan Stöckler, uh, kind of a, well, new guy to Drupal, or to the Drupal community at large. This is my first event of any sort. I think we have to move oh. slightly into the You see, when you don't have professionals behind the camera, this is what happens. Total difference. Um, well, yeah, this is my first Drupal event of any sort, and I'm really impressed by the community, by the atmosphere. It's really just an awesome event. Excellent. And uh, what have you been doing during the heat? Because it's been very hot, hasn't it? There's not much we can really do. Uh, well, I've been spending most of my time under the shower. Yeah. Um, which is okay. Yeah. But I uh, actually haven't seen anything other than that. Yeah. So it's. Uh, We've had time to cool off in the lake a little bit. Right, which um, is nice. Yeah, and uh, people do say that the emphasis is on socialising. Have you been able to get to know a lot of new people from the well, uh, community? I think anybody except uh, Tobias, uh, who's my brother, is new to me uh, in some way. I know some people from the Drupal.org uh, issue queues or forums, but uh, face to face, uh, I think everybody is new to me. So I, I was able to meet quite a lot of. Yeah. Interesting people. So what exactly is your background? What did you do before Drupal? Uh, different things. Um, less to do with web development, more to do with... We need to move across a little bit here. A little... Uh, well, just uh, dabbling in Drupal as a hobby. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, did you study IT or...? No, I mean, study communication science and politics. Okay, right. Oh, politics as well. That's interesting. Right. Yeah. So I was... Uh, I was working more in that area before, but now I'm trying to kind of change my orientation. 
Yeah, so you're moving towards web development right. with Drupal. Right. Okay, right. So did you do stuff that was more... To, more the, the, the jobs you did before, were they more to do with uh, politics or communication uh, science? Or? Yeah, more, more with politics. Yeah. So I worked for a uh, member of the German Bundestag for two years. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, until he retired. I yeah. moved to Hamburg. And, uh, well, then I kind of tried to change. Yeah, so what were you doing for him? Uh, writing speeches or preparing, researching... And stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's very the interesting. Day-to-day -day office. Yeah. Business. Uh, so it's interesting that uh, you uh, have got quite a broad background then. Oh uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'll try, <laughs> try to pay you a compliment. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I'm sure you can bring all of the knowledge and skills that you've gathered through your various uh, uh, career date. Uh, just like I hope that I can do, because I uh, didn't do anything to do with IT okay. at university or anything. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll um, see about that. Uh, one last question. Um, is there any particular session or any, any particular topic that you want to learn more about while you're still here? Uh, as I'm still kind of trying to wrap my head around the tools used to develop and build uh, Drupal and Drupal sites, I'm increasingly uh, getting familiar with Git, but of course there's always a lot to learn. So I am uh, very eager to uh, hopefully be able to attend tonight's session on the uh, Git tips and tricks. Yeah. So to, uh, well, maybe become a better developer. Yeah. Theme. Great. Excellent. Yeah, well, uh, thanks very much for the interview. Thank you. And uh, enjoy the rest of uh, Drupal coming. Shake my hand, Batman. <laughs> Jesus, bloody hell. Let me try and my idea. phone's safe. Great idea. <laughs> right, thank you. Hello there, Serhat. Hi, John. Nice to meet you in this very uh, peaceful and pleasant setting. So, uh... You're one of the Drupal campers here. Yeah. And uh, perhaps you can just introduce yourself. Okay, um, my name is Sead and I uh, live in Munich. I make Drupal since uh, I think 2008 and uh, I got mostly uh, small projects like making websites for um, uh, schools or some uh, social, you know, social Places. Yeah. I don't know the word in Associations. English. Yes. Yeah. And um, yeah, I got a small company in Munich. What's it called? Sorry? What's your company called? Uh, KPC Design. <laughs> okay. And uh, this is the second company. The first company is Kaputa PC, like. Um, breaking computer. Breaking computer. Yeah. And that's my uh, first job, what I did. And Drupal, I think it's my second. Um, yeah, uh, feet to stand on the world, or okay, I don't know. So talking of standing on feet, uh, yeah. you have to swim a little bit closer to me, I think. Okay, are we? Uh, looks like we're swimming out of the picture. But um, so, as well as doing building websites, you do a little bit of Drupal training, don't you? Yeah, I do. Uh, I do for the Münchner Volkshochschule um, Drupal uh, trainings for about six uh, to eight guys. Yeah. and uh, try to um, make them Drupal a bit uh, near yeah. to... Uh, so these people that come for Drupal lessons, are they people that do it out of interest or are they, yeah. do they need it for their company? Or? Uh, um, also, um, they want to make some um, small website and they heard about Drupal and uh, they told me, okay, let's learn Drupal. Yeah. The other guys, they had a website with Drupal and they don't know how to uh, manage that. Yeah. And that's the second part of the Drupal users or yeah. trainees. Are there any particular issues for beginners that they always come with or one question that people quite uh, often ask? The biggest question is where can I find um, some menu uh, points, how can I navigate through Drupal yeah. and uh, where can I find help? That's the uh, yeah. biggest issues, I think, from... Oh, it's got a big wave here. Yeah. What on earth is that? From the boat. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the biggest um, issue uh, yeah. at, the, at the trainings. Yeah. Where's what? So where to find particular menu items? Yeah. Okay. And um, when people come and ask for other places to help, 
What do you think is the best place for beginners to go and find help about Drupal? I think in the, at the community, like me. I, the first thing I do is uh, how can I get help near my uh, place in yeah. Munich yeah. at this time? And um, I think that's the biggest step to find someone who can help you yeah. in, with your issues or with your problems or what else. So is, do you mean the user group? Yeah, for example. Okay. I told everyone the biggest thing uh, from Drupal is the community. The community yeah. is a great, big, helpful community to uh, get help from other guys you don't know. And yeah. then you, one, two years uh, ago, they're your friends. Do does the user group in Munich is that very well? Do you have lots of people going there? Yeah. Uh, sometimes we are 20, sometimes we are 10, yeah. but we have um, I think three big events. Uh, the first one called Drupal Lamp Party. Yeah. Um, we met us met us there, and uh, everyone goes there with his project and helps uh, again uh, helps another. And we cook together, we grill together. Yeah. And the second one is the user group meeting. Um, every three weeks, no, at the th I don't know, uh, Wednesdays, the third Wednesday in the month. Yeah. Okay. And are they, uh, are your user groups aimed at beginners or advanced people, or do you make some kind of uh, differentiation? So we, how, how do you make user groups? that are relevant both to advanced um, developers and to that are attractive to, every, to beginners? Every two months we go to the um, to the companies yeah. and make their, uh, their uh, uh, development or something else community uh, meetings. Yeah. And uh, sometimes every two months we met us with uh, beginners and uh, they had questions and we okay. help together. So you do make a differentiation between yeah. sessions that are aimed at beginners Real. and sessions that are aimed right. at more advanced developers. Right. And things. Okay. And when when you need development, so when you when you have a website and you need something that's actually a software development, uh, how do you do that? Do you go to somebody else or? Sometimes. Um, mostly, I ask my community, the guys I know. Yeah. Munich, the community are about. 50 guys, I know yeah. them, yeah. and uh, I go to them and uh, told I had a project, or uh, what's about you, yeah. um, did you have time to make this project and so on, and it works very, very good. Yeah, okay, so you've got a good network yeah. going on down there. Of yeah. course. Okay, great. Well, they're very interesting. Thank you very much for the interview. You're welcome. And uh, I'll uh, let you get back to swimming. <laughs> and, okay, uh, swim again. I think thank it's time, you. For, time for dinner soon as well. Yeah, of course. So, uh, yeah. Thank I'm you very so much. Hungry. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> okay. Right, so, hello Roger. Hello, Joe. Nice to speak to you on this lovely evening here at Drupal Camping. So maybe if I could firstly start ask by asking you, where do you come from? I'm from Munich. And I... A little bit closer? Yeah. Because otherwise so, you'll be drifting Back down to Munich right. if you're not careful. So I'm uh, I'm from Munich, yeah. and I'm living there for six years now. I'm doing Drupal since yeah. seven or eight years. Yeah. So I think since 2005 or six or something. Yeah. I started it with a with a little project we made about uh, festival photography mm -hmm. and uh, festival calendars and anything and concerts. Yeah. And so I learned to know Drupal, and I really liked it. It was easy for my for my logic uh, to yeah. understand. Yeah. Yeah. And what version of Drupal was that back then? Huh? What version of Drupal oh, was the first? This was uh, oh. four point six or seven. Yeah. I think while I developed the the site, it changed. Okay. Some, th something about there. Yeah. And have you always been a developer, or did you start off by? Do you start building? Um, I, I started more well, as a developer in my uh, career. Yeah. Um, I was PHP programmer, and then I learned to know Drupal, and it was really cool because um, I think it's starting to rain. Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I started uh, with programming PHP, yeah. some projects, and then I learned to know Drupal, and I really liked the site building part yeah. because it uh, had so many functions. 
Yeah. And you don't need to develop so much edit or to program. Okay. Yeah. So um, so you use Drupal both as a site builder and as a developer. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I wrote some some small code, but yeah. nothing uh, what the public knows. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And um, is this the this isn't the first time you've been to Drupal camping? No, I I've visited every Drupal camping the last two ones uh, also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you've been very busy in the kitchen since you. Yeah. 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 So actually, um, uh, with being a little bit out of Drupal for the last month, yeah. uh, I'm not totally in, in any coding sessions or something. Though. So yeah. I just thought I would bring in my creativity with cooking. Very good. Yeah. And we got some good photos and a little bit of video of you doing poi yesterday. Yeah, right. So uh, uh, how, d how did you get involved in that? How did you learn that? Oh, I've seen this in Goa on a yeah. holiday. Yeah. And I liked it and I started it there, uh, yeah. trying uh, what the other people did there. Yeah. And then I got home and I had a project uh, to code where uh, long, long times for testing, 20 minutes or something. Yeah. And every oh. time I tested, I played Poi in my room. <laughs> and so I, I presume got when you did it in your room, it was out without the fire. <laughs> yeah, without the fire, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So how long does it take to learn Poi? Uh, it's not maybe come a little bit closer to us. It's not so hard to learn at all. Yeah. Uh, but I started with fire after one and a half year. Uh, oh, I see. So it takes quite a long time before. Yeah, you, you can start earlier. But uh, I really was like, I want, I want to do some cool stuff with, with the thing. Yeah. Uh, and then I do it with fire. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's certainly great for uh, entertainment. Yeah. I really enjoyed watching that yesterday. Yeah, it's uh, really like a meditation. Yeah. Too. Yeah. For the person that's doing it or for the person, for the person that's, uh, is, that's doing it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, oh, really interesting. And what's the, uh, before, well, it's really starting to rain quite heavily, so we'll have to go in in a bit. But uh, before I let you go, what's the one thing that you like most about Drupal camping? So, not about this particular one, but generally about uh, the concept. I of like the idea, idea at all. Yeah. Uh, to be a little bit outside of hotels and conference room and yeah. anything and um, Yeah, the people are really really relaxed here and yeah. the weather is good mostly Most, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ignore this the weather's fine. The weather's, yeah, been the weather's great. good. The sun is shining <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, No, I, I like that is that it's small. It's very familiar yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Yeah, okay, and if there was one improvement you think we could make from this year, what would it be? Um, I Apart from the weather. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't really think of uh, some more organizing, but it's working. Yeah. 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 Maybe, yeah. Uh, well, I think perhaps we'll have a feedback session or we'll get some feedback from people yeah. uh, after the event. And uh, I look forward to next year. So, uh, what time are you going back tomorrow? Um, I think we will go back tonight because tomorrow uh, holidays are ending in four uh, yeah. regions in Germany. Yeah. And all the people are driving from north to south. Yeah. And we don't want to get in any traffic jams. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So well, I can well understand that. So, uh, well, before all of the equipment gets destroyed, yeah. we'll uh, get back in and uh, I think it's dinner time. Stefan's just cooking the dinner for us. Okay, cool. Which I'm uh, looking forward to. We'll be yeah, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, John. Uh, and uh, speak to you next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Maybe in the boat. Yes, <laughs> who knows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, so, Werner. From Hamburg, a uh, regular at the Drupal user group in Hamburg. I'd just like to ask you to introduce yourself and tell me what you're doing at Drupal Camping. Oh, without drowning. Oh, Drupal Camp is very nice. Uh, I think I, I, I saw David Hasselhoff yesterday, <laughs> but I'm not sure, but uh, we are still waiting. I think that was Roger. <laughs> so, uh, well, maybe it was slow. Who knows? So, uh, did, uh, are you planning on going to sessions this evening? Yeah, sure. Okay. I think there are some nice things to eat also. Excellent, yeah. And the session, I don't know, maybe before or or afterwards. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter. Yes, well, uh, <laughs> on the subject of the food, of course, we've got to thank uh, yes. Stefan for that. Yes. Had some lovely burgers last night. And, well, uh, wasn't the food sponsored by Drupal 8? Uh, sponsored by Drupal 8? No. Uh, no, not. Or we uh, should sponsor Drupal. Uh, yeah, something like that. Okay. <laughs> so, um, uh, Even we are not hungry, uh, but we try. Well, a lot of the guys from the uh, uh, Drupal initiative, so that's the okay. German okay. Uh, version of the Drupal Association, have okay. been doing the food. Uh, very so, uh, yeah, so very good to them. Um, so, uh, 
Is there a particular topic that you'd like to hear a session about this evening? Something that's of particular interest to you? Oh, yes, I think because uh, for me Drupal 8, you know, it's, it's like uh, the big white shark and shark attack, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm really a little bit afraid yeah. to know. At least in this lake we don't have to fear <laughs> sharks. <laughs> oh God, I've been taken. Bennett, Bennett. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bennett. <laughs> <coughs> oh God! No, I think that was just a big fish that was uh, nibbling on your toes. Yeah, it's like a big fish that's Drupal 8. Yeah. <laughs> so just to illustrate in actions what Drupal 8 means for you. So you'd like a little bit of support and information on Drupal 8. Is there any particular aspect of Drupal 8 that uh, is especially daunting? Mm, you know, I'm just a beginner though. I have to... I have to... I'm still occupied still with Drupal 7. Yeah. Because I as started they, as they Drupal about one year, one year and a half. Okay, so that's yeah. Like that. And you're a newer developer. Yeah, I'm everything yeah. <laughs> up to now. Yeah. Fortunately. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, so what what sort of projects do you use Drupal for? We need for for analyzing tools to collect data and to analyze the data. Yeah. And also for home pages and yeah, some information and sort that. Okay. And when you collect data, do you do that through, is that, is that automated or is that people in, entering data themselves? No, people have to enter it. Okay. The analyzing is automatized. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Well, uh, very interesting. All and right. uh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll see you at the next Drupal user group, hopefully. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Ah. Hello, Tobias. Hello, John. Fancy seeing you here, you here again. Yes. On what this a lovely day. I know, yeah, well, it's just started to rain. So before we're forced to go inside, I wanted to ask you again a few questions about Drupal camping, what you've been doing here, what sessions you've enjoyed the most, and uh, stuff like that. Just remind our viewers out there who you are. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm Tobias Stöckler, T. Stöckler on <laughs> Drupal.org. Um, yeah, so Daniel Vena did a session of PHP Storm yesterday, mm -hmm. which was uh, very interesting because he does things about 10 or 20 times as fast as I do them. <laughs> and so he taught us uh, all of his tricks and I probably will only remember a very few of them, but still <laughs> I'll uh, probably develop faster now that I know okay. some of the tricks. So the release date for Triple Eight can be brought forward by about a month. Yeah, I think we can do it in November. Yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Good. Excellent. So, uh, 2015, you know. Yeah, well, of course. Obviously. Yes, yeah. I was thinking maybe 2014, but... No. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so, well, uh, um, you gave a session yourself as well the other day? Yes, I gave a quick introduction to the Drupal 8 plugin system. So uh, that's a very fundamental concept in Drupal 8. Yeah. That many things are plugins and you can provide plugins. Um, so I tried to write a new block uh, in as part of a session and yeah. uh, to see how that goes. Yeah, well the mosquitoes are still there. Right, I tried to uh, create a block that kills mosquitoes, but uh, yeah. Drupal doesn't really uh, provide that capability yet. Okay. so it's, Maybe it's, that's Drupal 9 material. Yeah, maybe that should be in core by Drupal 9. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, but uh, it looks like the, the bugs, or the, uh, the mosquitoes, got the better of us yes. uh, during that session. Yes, that's um, true. And they uh, really did bite us quite a lot, and they even organized a little protest on the screen behind us. Yes. So uh, are you looking forward to a particular topic uh, today or tomorrow at Drupal Camping? Oh, there, uh, there are many, many ideas floating around. We're, uh, floating around? A... Floating around? Yes. So, yeah. Pun intended, obviously. Very good. yes. Um, so uh, maybe talk about the D7 Ajax API by Clemens, or uh, I just heard that uh, Webflow might be talking about the configuration management initiative. Yeah. Yeah. So many, many interesting things. Uh, one of the Bright Solutions people, I can't remember his name right now, wants to teach us a little bit about Git and some tricks with Git. Yep. That would be cool. So yeah. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot to learn. Definitely. Um, so maybe I'll let you get back to the shore so that you can go talk to all these wonderful Drupal people and learn even more. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, see ya. 
Oh, hello there, Kathy. I think you must be in the picture by now. Yes. So, uh, tell me again, where have you been? Where we? Oh, we went to the other side of the lake. Yep. Yeah, every day we've been swimming. First day we went short way. Yeah. Second day, medium. Today, long. Uh, so that's the way to do things. Start off with the easy route and then get more and more ambitious <laughs> as, you, uh, as you go on. A little bit like learning Drupal. Yeah. yeah. Start with small steps. Start with uh, beginning issues. And then as you uh, get more and more confident, move that's on right. to And it. go with someone else. And go with someone else as well. And who better to go with? So Ellen. Can you come over towards me a little bit? A little bit more into the picture. Who better to go with than Daniel? Your hair's still dry on it, so <laughs> yeah. you must be quite a strong swimmer. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> but I learned a trick how to stay upon the water. So you just breathe a lot of into your lungs, so you're staying up. And you don't uh, breathe out at all, because then you're going down. Oh, okay, right, down. so you haven't breathed out since talking to me. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't breathe out as well. Oh, very good. Oh, we need to move over a little bit. Dang it, I think you're out of the picture. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Right, so have things changed since I last spoke to you? Have things happened? Topics have arisen? Issues have been uh, talked about? Uh, well, we were doing a lot of laughing last night, late into the night. Not too much, not too much laughing, we are here to work. Uh, we were laughing about work. Oh, uh, yeah, that's okay. Laughing in a... Instead of crying. Yeah. <laughs> in a, a sarcastic way. Oh, uh, uh, sarcasm, uh, well, that's a little bit, uh, a little bit too much. <laughs> laughing a little bit. It's okay. So, uh, but on, on a more serious note, what were you laughing about? Uh, uh, the, um, how there were things that are not really testable because they are not decoupled. So it looks like they're object oriented, but really they're not. What was it? It was, well, the, U uh, yeah, was it the URL? So, well, um, Tobias wanted to meant to make a benchmark yeah. um, and test some performance and it was not it was incredibly complicated to do a benchmark. Yeah. Way more complex than Triple Seven, so he was kind of frustrated. Yeah. Poor old Tobias is standing there on the uh, here. So uh, you did a top, you did a session yesterday. Oh right. Yeah. Uh, that was the session. It went on for a very long time. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. That was big, some good. It had a big audience. Yeah, it was yes. good, and there was some discussion going on. Some people suggested uh, new ideas and asked some good questions there. But yeah. Hopefully, great. Maybe you could both move in together a little bit. Which direction? Uh, just towards each other. So you're okay. uh, in front of me. Okay, yeah, we've had some positive feedback about your session, so well done on that. Kathy, uh -huh. uh, did you do your session about uh, contributing or are you still planning to do it? No, I'm hoping to do it tonight. Tonight? Okay, yes. great. So I think if we set the projector and stuff up, then uh, uh, we'll let you do your stuff. Would you like me to pull you back over into the shop because you're drifting a little bit? Give me your feet. Is your, is your foot, foot okay? That's... <laughs> I hope you're toting yourself. I don't want to... to That's uh, the good one. Oh, I've got the good one. So, uh, no, I think the session would be kind of short, maybe half an hour, so that yeah. then people can watch it and then they can all do it. And, yeah. and we can have some practice. Yeah. Okay, so people should bring the laptops and be ready to yeah. sit down and do a bit of work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Are there any topics that you think have been missing? Any ones that you'd like people to deal with? Anything that you'd like to learn about from other people? Well, I'm, well, I'm looking forward to go climbing later. But that's related to Tree work. climbing. Climbing, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, it's 10 to 12 now. I think the plan was to go at about 1 o'clock. Okay. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we'll have to get back to the camp at some point. Yes. And uh, see who's organising that. Uh, so, uh, but I think uh, the discussions all of the day and all of the night, I mean just organic, impromptu discussions and meeting lots of new people has all been brilliant. Yeah, great. I'm glad you liked it. And uh, so we're all set for Drupal camping next year. For, yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Maybe we'll do even choose in a plane or in the trees or something. <laughs> Oh, that would be fun! Yeah, because there's a shadow all the time. <laughs> yes. uh, because in the in the water, it's just a bit boring, really, isn't it? <laughs> well, and you're in the sun. Yeah, and I'm in the sun the whole time. Which is actually to uh, <laughs> to stop me getting sunburned. I'm wearing my Drupal Dev Days Dublin T-shirt. Oh, nice. uh, maybe the camera can see that if I turn around. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, is the logo on the front? It drops. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on that, on that serious note, let's so get back to the... Is that, oh, your, is that your last interview for the day? Uh, possibly, yeah, unless I can get other people to join.
joining because I did ask a lot of people but some people were too busy well not not busy <laughs> too busy being unbusy and lying around on the <laughs> on the beach there so, which is fine that's fine that's up to them well thank you very much oh, God, Jesus. Yeah, have a good day on the, try not to drive. On the lake yes thank the lake. you see you later thank you <laughs>